Hello everybody, Cub Fan here with a quick response for Tom DePaulo and he asked about 75 tops and why we like 75 tops so much and I was watching that video and I thought that it was a good idea because I really like the 75 top set uh, but then I took it a step further and I thought I would do a response for him and also I would do a list because you all know I love to do lists and I would do a list of my top 10 favorite sets. So real quick with the Tom DePaulo response, uh, 75 tops, that was actually the year I was born so it's actually one of my favorite sets. Um, I really like the color on there, all the different colors out there in front. I have the Brett and the Yount rookies. Uh, but it's got a great variety of rookies, uh, also a great variety of uh, Hall of Fame cards as well, too. I just really like everything about it because in the 70s, um, they went a lot, well, with the exception of 71 and 70. 70 and 71, they went with a lot of the white borders, and then 75 just popped out of nowhere with all this different color, and they went back to the white borders in 76, so I just thought it was a set that really stood out on its own. Topps really hadn't done anything like this before, so I just thought it was a really cool set. The photography in it was really good, and so that's why 75 Tops is uh, one of my favorites and why I like it so much. So with that... I thought we would hop right into my top 10 favorite sets. Tom really got me thinking about it. And for me, you're not going to see anything. You're not going to see anything like 33 Gowdy or 51 Bowman. It's a, it's all going to be my favorite sets. Sets I collected when I grew up. Um, sets I collect now. Um, and what was really on the criteria, it's one of those things that uh, anytime you go to a show and you see a card from that set, whether it be a Hall of Famer or a semi-star or a rookie card, that you always think right away, you're like, I gotta have that. I love that card. It looks awesome. So uh, that's what did it for me. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, number 10, we have... 2011 tops update now I'm cheating because it is my list and I went with an up an update set but I really think this set is tremendous I do not have the trout uh, but out front I got the Rizzo and Altuve and this set is just locked chock full of uh, rookie cards uh, the Eric Hosmer there as well too um, and everybody knows that I absolutely, absolutely love rookie cards. And um, so I thought that I couldn't have a list without having the 2011 update. I think it's probably one of the best sets uh, with rookie class wise out there. So there it is, the 2011 Tops update. Now next we have 1971 Tops, the Black Beauties, and newly acquired Munson. I uh, picked that up, just got that in the mail today, and uh, so it definitely had to showcase it here today. But the, the 71 Tops are just gorgeous cards, they're very iconic. Um, I absolutely love everything about them. That Munson is probably one of my favorite cards. And uh, that's why I picked it up. is because I just could not have the collection without it. So there it is. That Also there's the Garvey Rookie as well too. But there it is, the 71 Tops. Now next uh, is the... 1980 tops and I just think that's probably one of the better looking sets from the 80s um, 80s are very iconic the 80s rookie cards and a lot of that is because a lot of today's collectors all started 
in the 80s a lot of us older collectors like myself and the 1980s set is the one that really started it all uh, there's Ricky Henderson there but uh, just a very iconic set and one of my favorites obviously it wouldn't be on my list now this one here is one of my absolutely favorite sets it's the 91 stadium club and uh, when this set came out I was 14 15 years old 15 years old and I was just blown away by this set and of course the Frank Thomas was the chase card in there and but I bought so much of this stuff because of that card right there that Griffey card back in that day was just a monster card I think that was a $15 card and it was a um, it was a third year card and for something like that I mean that was just phenomenal back in those days but that was just a great card great set I love the full uh, full card photography it was a, just a simple design but it just really um, came out with the glossy uh, card stock and I think that was the first set that really uh, embrace that and uh, we owe a lot of today's cards to this first uh, stadium club offering so there's the 91 stadium club and then next we have uh, 89 upper deck and you can't have the 89 upper deck without the Griffey and this was upper decks first offering there's the Biggio as well too, and I got the Johnson there, and of course the Smolty. Sorry about the glare. And then we got the Sheffield. But uh, yeah, I just you can't say enough about that set. Everybody went goo goo over the Griffey, but the Griffey kind of overshadows all the other great rookies from uh, that '89 set, and it's not even just '89 upper deck, but from uh, 89 Donruss and 89 Fleer, they all had a uh, very good rookies. The Sheffield, the Smoltz, um, the Johnson, the Biggio, just a great rookie class. Um, a lot of future potential potential Hall of Famers in that group, but uh, yeah, just the 89 upper deck, one of my favorites, of course. And the Griffey is probably one of my favorite cards, definitely in my top ten. And then next we have uh, 83 tops. And I'll tell you, the reason why I love this set so much is because of that card right there. Um, for many years, that was the cornerstone of my collection because, uh, you know, being a huge Brian Sandberg collector, that, that was the card that you absolutely had to have. And I just absolutely love it with the action photo plus the player photo down in the circle below. And it had a great rookie class too as well with uh, the Gwen, Boggs, and Sandberg, the big trio. It was just a really cool set and uh, one of my favorites. Alright, and then uh, we have, of course, I can't have a favorite set list without the 64's and it wasn't actually until recently that I actually fell in love with this set and I owe it all to Dustin Bellinger um, he posted a video of uh, some 64's that he picked up and uh, I really dig them I've seen them before but um, when he was showing them and I did some research on them and the set size and everything like that I just really fell in love with this set because it's chock full of Hall of Famers it's a great price point and the cool thing about it is that it's only a 60 card set so they took three players from each team they took a pitcher an infielder and an outfielder and so I just I just thought that was a cool concept and a cool design and I uh, love the photos on them but there it is my 64s and then uh, 2nd to Next, 
I believe this is number three. Is we have the 1960 tops. And uh, I mean, what I mean, what can you say? I just, I just really just like this set. I like the sideways cards. And uh, one of the reasons why I like this card so much is that this was actually the very first 61 of a uh, of a major player that I actually owned. And this is a uh, this is a card that my wife bought me uh, when I was in Iraq, and she uh, sent it to me. And uh, that's a card that I carried with me everywhere I went when I was overseas. So uh, just so the 60 set has always got a great spot in my heart and every time I see a Hall of Famer or somebody in the 60 set that uh, I absolutely pick them up. I think I said 61 but everybody knows that's the 60 set. And then for my number two favorite set of all time I already showed you the Brett and the Yount but it is the 75 set. There's the Ryan and the Aaron. And the Brett and the Yount actually overlook quite a few really good uh, rookie cards from that uh, set. But you also have the Freddie Lynn, um, you have the Jim Rice, and you have the Gary Carter as well too. And I believe there's a Keith Hernandez in that as well. I don't actually own the Keith Hernandez, but that's on my list of cards I want to pick up. But, you know, I said it in the very beginning of the video that 75 set is just a gorgeous set. From my birth year so you know I don't know what it is about collectors in their birth year set but it always holds a special place in your heart but there it is the 75 tops and if you guys have seen my other videos you know what's coming my very favorite set of all time is 87 tops and it's kind of silly because it's a very you know it's just a basic design but the, the wood borders mimicking the uh, 68 set, I mean, it's just a very cool, simple design, but it's uh, just eye-popping. But for me, it was that was the year that I really started collecting cards, and uh, I started out buying the 87 Tops, so 87 Tops will always have a, a great place in my heart. But 87 Tops is also just locked lock full of... Uh, great rookie cards um, you have the Paul Merrill and the Bonds there both those guys should be hall in the Hall of Fame uh, Paul Merrill over 500 home runs 3,000 hits I mean there's only three or four guys that actually have had those kind of numbers and then everybody knows what Bonds has done in his career and there's the Larkin and uh, I didn't go through all my cards but I didn't pull out the Jackson the Will Clark but uh, yeah the 87 tops is just that for me, is a very special uh, set, and it will always uh, that will always be my favorite set. So, kind of curious on what you guys think. Um, you agree or disagree, or what uh, what sets are in your top? Uh, I'd like to hear from you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.